Some new research is revealing more about the impact COVID can have on the brain, and it's pretty alarming. Scientists found people diagnosed with COVID are at a greater risk of developing a range of psychological conditions. Joining us tonight is Dr. Mark Alberts, the chief of neurology at Hartford Hospital. Doctor, thank you very much for taking a few minutes to talk with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity, Mark. As I said, it's pretty scary. So, so tell me more. This can be anything from what, anxiety to dementia, even psychosis? Yes, that's true. More and more studies in the United States and throughout the world are finding an association between COVID infections and a range of neurologic problems, ranging from headaches to strokes, anxiety, trouble with thinking and memory, trouble walking, talking, and sleeping. And we're seeing this in more and more of our patients. Doctor, does it linger for some time or does it depend on each individual? It really depends on each individual, but in general, the pattern that we're seeing is that these symptoms typically develop a number of days or weeks after a severe COVID infection, and then they may stabilize for a while. And then fortunately, in the vast majority of folks, the symptoms gradually get better over a number of weeks. So this is the good news is that most folks get better on their own. It's interesting. We've been reading a lot, and I'm sure you know all about this, but there are some reports that some of these long haulers, as they call them, people who've been dealing with these issues, are, are showing some promise after they get the vaccine. Yes, that's, that's true, and certainly we would recommend that everybody as appropriate receive a vaccine because that would prevent perhaps uh, another infection if they, didn't, if they had a mild case to begin with. But I think it's very important that folks work with their primary care physicians and that they be aware that Hartford HealthCare does offer a COVID recovery center where they can have access to a number of physicians with specialties including neurology and cardiology and psychiatry and the, and the like to help diagnose, manage, and treat any of these symptoms they may have after a COVID infection. Lastly, doctor, briefly, I would imagine you'll be evaluating this for years and years to come, right? Yes, it's, it's unfortunate job security, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But I think COVID may be with us for some time, and we're prepared to help people, again, get a vaccine to prevent them from getting COVID and to deal with these post-COVID symptoms as they develop. All right, get that vaccine. A good message right there. Dr. Mark Alberts from Hartford Hospital. Thank you very much, doctor. We appreciate your time today. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.